So if you're a guy following Apple, especially the Apple iPhone series, you might know that Apple has never fell behind making hypes about the new iPhone coming every year in the month of September. This year too, Apple made a huge hype, but today I have come here with very few but very, very strong reasons why you shouldn't be upgrading to the new iPhone that is the XR, XS and XX Max. So if you're here for that reason, what are you waiting for? Let's hop into the video and let's know that, shall we? So the number one reason is the benchmark and the price. So as you can see the benchmark now on the screen, it says the Apple iPhone X has a single core benchmark of 4217, a multi-core of 10262, and the XS has a single core of 4813 and multi-core of 10266. So as you can see there is not a huge much of difference between the multi-core and single core processor benchmark but the price difference is high around like Apple starts its iPhones from like 1099 goes to 1199 then on to 1499 and there's not a huge upgrade and you can slightly go into the ebay.com and find iPhone on sale for around like $600 which is great and the specification almost same but for like $400 less so that's the first reason guys getting a cheap iPhone X currently then why should you be looking to buy a new iPhone 10X which is like nothing like upgrading for like more $400 it's better to save $400 rather than spending $400 more the very second reason why you shouldn't be looking to buy the 10R, 10S and 10X Max is that a hype, great hype coming in 2019 this is just a classic update as you might have seen like 6 6s like that upgrade it's not a huge generation upgrade of the iPhone and in 2019 there is definitely a iPhone 11 this was just a 10 to 10 s classic upgrade this is isn't this isn't the upgrade of 10 to 11 so next year I guess around this price only around 1300 to 1400 dollar there's gonna be the iPhone 11 and you should be looking for that because it's gonna have huge difference and change and better stuff in it like three cameras and like 4k display AMOLED everything like that uh, wireless charging face ID with on-screen fingerprint sensor everything like that which this doesn't have and it's gonna be around same price probably next year and you shouldn't be buying therefore this 10s spending fourteen hundred dollar on a 10s this year rather be waiting for one year and getting a 10 times better iPhone next year for the same price guys. So the very last and not the least reason for not buying this year's iPhone that is 10s R X Max is the difference in outside. Do you find any difference between the X of last year, this year's 10, 10s? I don't find any difference. No color change rather than just that gold new color and if you take a white or a black it looks same like the iPhone 10. There is no difference if you even buy one people would see that say oh he's holding an 10 of last but you would be actually holding the 10s but no one would be knowing that it's either 10s or x max it's, they would be thinking that it's 10 so that's why there's no difference on the outside but it's granted that next year's 2019 is going to have a huge outside as well as inside as well as everything upgrade so that's the third reason you should be waiting for one more year next year to spend this fourteen hundred dollar that you want to spend on this iPhone to rather spend it on the next one yeah that's the three reasons guys if you like this video make sure to hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike subscribe and hit the like button for getting more videos like that see you in the next one peace